Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python's Realm. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much for all of your fantastic support that you guys have been showing my way. I really do appreciate it. Of course, if you are new around here, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on my future content. And of course, if you want to go one further, use code Python when ordering any Apex Gaming PCs from my PC range or any sneak energy drinks. Now! Today, we've got ourselves a bunch of little odd jobs to do. One of the things I want to do is to make the regenerative hood for the Spectre armor set. Secondly, I would like to get myself up to 100 crates. In the last episode, we discovered we've got 37 crates currently sat in our chests here. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of these crate potions because I just had Amber coming out of the wazoo. So we're pretty good in that way. Uh, however, if we were to go to one of the oceans and pick up some coral then we might just be able to get some cool things on the go. So I do believe we're going to need to head down here. We're looking for some coral. There we are. The more coral, the better. There we go. Is this coral right here as well? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, yeah, basically anything that looks like a plant but not a shell is coral. Now, the reason we're grabbing this coral is to make sonar potions. Sonar potions, of course, very, very useful for a variety of reasons. Uh, all right, we're just about out of uh, breath here. So we're actually going to go home. And we've got 14 coral. Okay, very nice. But yeah, the sonar potion will make it so we don't wind up wasting bait on just useless fish that we just don't need. Okay, so we should be pretty good. Right, where is it? The sonar potion. Ooh, snappers. There it is. Yeah, that's a lot of sonar potions. Turns out we really don't actually have a lot of bait left uh, at all. Aha, uh -huh. we've got all these fireflies and believe it or not, that's it. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Well, hey there, random flying unicorn. How you doing? But before we get on with any of that, let's maybe do the quest for the day. We did mention that we wanted to shift our focus just a tiny little bit towards fishing. So if we go to any desert, then we should be able to get this thing rolling. Uh, ah, uh, is that a desert? No, no, it's not. We definitely, wait, do we even have an oasis on this world? Wait, what? We, we don't appear to have... Oh, wait. Eh, that's kind of a desert. Oh, wow, the only desert really is here. We don't have an oasis biome on this world. How peculiar. So, yeah, turns out I don't actually think I'm going to be able to do that quest. Huh, okay, something to consider in the future. Project plan. A homemade desert biome for fishing in. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, man. I want to get all the crates. All the crates would now belong to me. All right. Let's begin with jungle. I mean, why not? It's nearest to us. So let's get it going. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it begins. We are inadvertently farming a bunch of dudes as well. But more than anything, we are looking for crates. 67 is the magic number. It is going to take a long time to get all that. But you know what? It's going to be worth it. You know, oh, is it worth getting the buff fish as well? I don't know, man. I don't know. Considering our slight lacking of the bait, I am not entirely sure. Wow. Literally one. One crate from this entire crate potion. I sure hope the rates get better than that. I don't want to use 67 crate potions to get the freaking crates we need. Man. Oh, my word. Come on. Nice. Bramble crate. The hard mode variant of the jungle crate. Definitely can't complain about that one. All right. Cool. Okay. The crate bait is definitely going up. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. <laughs> oh, you can't not pick that bad boy up. The Zephyr fish. <laughs> very, very cool. Oh, and a pearl work. Oh, dang it. It snapped. Stupid, stupid line. Well, I gotta be honest, I'm actually a little bit disappointed at the uh, crate fishing so far. I firmly believe it's just the bait. We just don't have enough fishing power. If I had the high-end bait, the 50% one, woo, the crates would be coming in thick and fast, my friends. Believe you me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so far we have a grand total of 16. Yeah, 16 out of 67. So, yep, still got a long way to go, but there's like three other locations that I want to do fishing in. Uh, wait, there's two moths at the same time. I feel like that doesn't happen very often. 
All right. Well, I'm going to keep going until this sonar potion runs out. And then, yeah, we'll move on to another location. In fact, before doing that, it might be an idea to get the chlorophyte we need to get the regenerative spectre hood. Yes. Yes. That seems like a good idea. All right. I'm still not picking up the buff fish because I don't want to be using the bait on them. Uh, so, yeah, we're still only going for the crates. So in the, if in the next 15 seconds we get a crate... Just normally, that'll be absolutely beautiful, actually. Uh, nope, more lard fish. Come on, seven seconds. Come on, baby. There we are. All right, what, what do you guys think? One more. One more. One more. Oh, my God, there is. Oh, my word. Let's freaking go. All right, and um, now we have to go ahead and claim our prize, which is uh, however much money is down below. Ooh, so much stuff going on. All right, Soul of Night. My God, that's a lot of stuff down here. Coffee, vines, okay. The money, adhesive bandage, blindfolds. I mean, oh, archaeologist's hat. Wait, what the devil? I don't know, I don't remember killing a freaking archaeologist. Okay, well, yep, yeah, we did. <laughs> so, second fishing location is going to be the Hallow. I do have a fairly hefty, hefty, hefty freaking lake that I could be fishing from if we just check it out here there it is that's the one that I do my fishing at and it's sort of got natural protection going on for it as well which is very very cool so yeah we should wind up staying alive it shouldn't be too hard to do I guess <laughs> but yeah let's get down there let's do some fishing we're looking for some epicness oh yes we are all right here we are beautiful. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? All right, so, I mean, I guess let's just freak it. Oh, there's a pig rod. What the devil are you doing? Get out of here, you freaking dummy. All right, there we are. All right, we'll put a couple of these down just for good measure. And uh, ladies and... What? Another one? What? What the hell? Oh, yeah, if you didn't notice already, I decided to actually bring out all of the crates so I can keep a slightly more updated tally in terms of how much we've got going on. So, yeah, 46, 51, 54, 57. We have 57 out of 100 crates so far. More than halfway of the total distance. Nice. I really do feel like a proper fisherman with this fedora on. <laughs> I know there is like a proper fisherman's armor vanity type buff set that you can get, but I don't know, man. I feel like this freaking fedora does the trick real nice like. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So once we're done... Oh, there we are. Another one. Once we are done with this location, we are going to go to either the corruption or the dungeon next. The dungeon might be a little bit more difficult to work with now, actually. Um... I don't know, man. I don't know. So, let's take a tiny break from the fishing to get ourselves the chlorophyte needed for the regenerative uh, mana set that we're going for here. And, uh, yeah, we'll also check out the desert crate or the desert chest inside of the dungeon. I've never, ever seen what's inside that before. So, yeah, if you guys haven't seen it before, then you will probably be as surprised as I am. Legit. <laughs> It's going to be amazing, guys. All right. Oh, wait. I'm back at the surface. Well, you're not going to find chlorophyte at the surface now, Python, are uh, Yeah. To be honest, guys, we actually didn't need that much chlorophyte, like, at all. What have we got so far? Uh, 40 coming up to 50. Uh, okay, cool. I mean, yeah, I'll mine this little vein to my left here, and then we'll call it done uh, for today. We'll get ourselves the regenerative set, assuming that it is still the regenerative set. I sure freaking hope so. So, I believe it was 12 spectre bars needed for the hood. There it is. This doesn't have any, like, little buffs to it. It's just flat defense. I swear there used to be something else to it. But anyways, check it out. Reduces magic damage by 40%. Wow. That is hefty, isn't it? Magic damage done to enemies heals the player with the lowest health. Uh, and yeah, it is basically the same as before. So what does this thing do now? Ooh, 31. Big ouchies. That is, uh, that is a hefty decrease, isn't it? Okay. Well, nonetheless, it is still a very, very good idea to have the regenerative set going because it just means that we can stay alive just a little bit easier, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm still happy that we managed to do it. And if we get in a sticky situation, we can switch to the regenerative set and just get ourselves a bunch of health back. 
So, down, down, down to the bottom, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey, 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 how's it going, Bonely? Why don't you go ahead and get out of it? There we are. What do we have? The Desert Tiger Staff summons a white tiger to fight for you. What? Okay, so that is definitely brand new for 1.4. There was never a desert chest inside of 1.3. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see just what kind of things this thing does. So, I'll tell you what. Let's head back to base. Maybe we get our spider armor back out. Or, eh, eh, maybe not. I don't know, man. We'll see what it does, basically. Nasty desert tiger staff. Oh, look at this, dude. Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, my God. He's so adorable. <laughs> oh, I love it. What? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I like it. Whoa! Mate, you can go a little bit quick, can't he? Oh, wow. That's kind of crazy. You know what? I'm kind of tempted to, uh, like, use it against the destroyer or something. You know, we, we, need to, we need to put the new weapon through its paces, okay? So, let me go grab a destroyer summoner out and my spider set. And we are going to do this thing pretty much just straight out the bat. Wait, can you only ever have one? Huh? Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we've got like a whole bunch of summons. Uh, all right, let's see what happens, I guess. Whoa! What? Holy mother! Okay, uh, basically, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let the Nimbus Rod and the Kitty Cat do the job. And we'll see how it goes, I guess. Uh... <laughs> I mean, so far, so good? Question mark? Maybe, oh, you know what? We probably need a whip in addition to this thing. Whoa! That is crazy! All right, I want to check out the DPS. Oh, wow! Yeah, that, that, that kitty cat's kind of crazy, actually. Okay, yep. Sapping the health away real nice-like. Whoa! Holy hell, dude! Wow! Okay! 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 I see you! So, I think maybe the damage stacks, right? With the amount of minion slots you have. Kind of similar to the Stardust Dragon staff, except, you know, the kitty cap doesn't seem to get, like, bigger or anything like that. Oh, wow. That is nuts, isn't it? So, quick update. We've got, what, 61, 67, 71, 74 crates out of 100 so far. Oh, still got plenty of bait left as well. So, where should we go next? Corruption? I mean, that's probably the easiest to get to right about now. So, uh, oh, darn it. Okay, we have to TP back that way. Yep, there we go. Okay, right. Let's get down there. Let's do some fishing. Oh, uh, look at you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, the kitty cat goes insane, man. Oh, I love this summon, dude. This is so fantastic. Might even be one of the uh, one of the better hard mode chest uh, uh, weapons. The Scourge of the Corruptor, I have always maintained, is... Oh, I don't know, actually. The vampire knives are kind of nice as well. Obviously, we don't have it on this world, but... Uh, being able to sap away life and, you know, have it for yourself is kind of nice. Scourge of the Corruptor, that was always my favorite one for a very long time. The damage potential with this bad boy was just insane, wasn't it? And then you had, what, the Piranha Gun? Was never really a fan of that. Uh, and then you got the Rainbow Gun. Uh, that was buffed fairly recently in the grand scheme of things. And it's kind of a monster now. So, yeah, maybe the Piranha Gun is maybe the worst one now. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something about the Piranha Gun I'm not quite getting. Do let me know. Let me know in the comments area. In fact, talking to the comments area, maybe we can have that be the, uh, the question of the day for you guys. Let me know. What is your favorite dungeon hard mode crate weapon in the game right now? Let me know. I'm very, very interested. And obviously, if there's something that I've missed with any of them, then do let me know because, you know, my knowledge is pretty old. Let's be honest. So, yeah, it needs to be brought into the, you know, the today ages. <laughs> Defiled crate. Ooh. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the first ever time I've caught one of those bad boys. Very nice. Oh, ah, dang it, stupid freaking stapping line. I need that high test fishing line thing, huh? 
Ah, oh, man, I really need to get on top of the uh, the old fishing quests. Uh, gosh darn it. Alrighty, guys, so we are now under 10 crates away from our 100 gold. Wow, the last three fish I've caught have actually all been crates. That is amazing. So, yeah, we've got, ooh, 77, 78, 82, 85. Wait, I've calculated this wrong, haven't I? Wait, wait, wait. 77, 84, 88, 91, 92. Oh! 93. Oh, I almost missed that one. <laughs> uh, oh, a defile crate as well. Yet another one. But yeah, I'm kind of deciding against going to the dungeon because I really do feel like it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. And there's not really actually that much I can catch, which uh, I haven't had already in terms of drops. Obviously, they've got the strong boxes that drop, but they only ever have like the pre-hard mode uh, uh, chest stuff, right? So there's nothing that we need. So I'd very much rather spend the time to get the rest of the types of crates, you know what I'm saying? Alright, that's 99 as far as my calculations go, and that's 100! Alright, 56 plus 28 equals 84, 91, 95, 98, 100. There we are, we've done it! Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude! We done did it, we got 100 crates, alright. <laughs> Let's get ourselves back to base, organize our inventory, get some chests sorted out so we can identify what exactly we get from each of the crates, and away we go. Oh, and uh, yeah, we also picked up the uh, the Toxicart. Ah, oh, I love this thing. It is very, very good. Unfortunately, right now, I'm pretty sure it's superseded by a lot of other weapons. If you got this early hard mode, then I would probably have no issues with being a bit more excited about it. But, uh, yeah. Ah, well, guys, we are done. Let's get ourselves organized and let's get this thing underway. Really? I'm literally about to open up a bunch of boxes. You give me a blood moon. Dude, honestly, go screw yourself, Terraria. I am just about done with you for today, buddy. Ah, you son of a turd. Ugh. All right, go on, little buddy. Go do your job. Oh, why? I don't want a freaking thing, man. I don't want this. Wait, apparently there's a hallowed mimic somewhere. What the devil? How is that even possible? I'm at the surface. I am so confused. So there we are, my friends. This is what 100 crates look like when they're all placed down. And now we're going to mine every single one up. <laughs> Nothing like a little bit of crate rain. <laughs> all right. So let's do this thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So much epicness. Wow, it's actually all been picked up by the freaking void bag as well. All right, very, very cool. So what we're going to do is favor all of the crates and just do deposit all. Oh, wait, the Spectre Hood wasn't favorited. Okay, hey, we've got an enchanted sundial. That is actually pretty darn cool. Nice. I cannot complain about that one one bit, guys. Okay, and now we've got to check on our void bag. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, a good amount of stuff in here. All right, let's put them all in the chest and we'll move on to the mithril. All right, 28 mithril crates. Let's go ahead and d -d -d do this thing. All right, so we've got uh, falcon blades and tartar sauce and selfish boots and, well, actually, not really that much interesting stuff, if I'm being honest with you. All right, did this pick up anything? Uh, yep, okay. Always good to see. All right, so the next one is going to be the titanium crates. Opening these bad boys up, 47 gold. A whole bunch of high-end bait. Very, very cool. And yeah, definitely can't complain about all that. Look at all the monies we've got over a platinum coin's worth. Nice. Right, so the last three types of crate, we're just going to sort of conjoin into one chest. So starting off with the divine, got ourselves some souls of light. And a bunch of ores. Can't complain about it. We've got the boomstick, feral claws, fiberglass fishing pole. Hey, is that good? Wait, 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 wait. Which, what, what is this one? Oh, 35%. Ah, dang it. It's only just more powerful than the fiberglass fishing pole. All right. I mean, it's a nice thing to have, but it's not really that great. All right. Finishing off here with Bolo Hurt, Band of Star Power. Okay, cool. More titanium bars and souls of night. Hey. Oh, man. Not bad at all, eh? Not a bad haul. Oh, man. That is so awesome. All right. Quick stacking the money away. We now have six platinum coins again. Very, very nice. All right, guys. That'll just about wrap it up for today's episode. That was loot 
from 100 fishing crates. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Drop a like if you haven't already. And of course, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on my future content. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>